Kenya announced its first oil discovery yesterday, saying the commodity was found in the northern part of the country where British firm Talo Oil has been exploring for oil and was now checking on the commercial viability of the find. This news thrust the country into the global limelight with energy players focusing their attention to the region. The revelation shaped today's debate during the ongoing oil and gas conference here in Nairobi. And there's a lot of work that remains to be done even thereafter because there's infrastructure that will require to be developed, there's um, exploitation that will require to be undertaken, there's um, a lot of work that requires to be done in the next three to five years once confirmation of um, economic viability is confirmed by Telo. Kenya and its neighbors in East Africa as well as the Horn of the continent have become a hotspot for oil and gas exploration in recent years, spurred by new finds. The discovery of oil in Trukana has sparked a new wave of optimism with the public raising their expectations. But according to experts attending the meeting, the economic effect of this discovery is likely to take years, that is, if confirmed to be commercially viable. The next stage has got to be what you call um, getting down to the bottom of where they think there is interesting rocks. So they've got to go down to seven, about 2,700 meters and see whether there are any other layers that they can find. Once you find the layers, then you've got to find out how big the layers are. So you've got to drill appraisal wells to tell you what the reserves look like. And that could take another two to three years at least to actually examine what kind of, uh, of, of, of reserves there are. This is likely to attract interest from other explorers in the coming months keen to take advantage of this early find.